Well, hi, Food Network. This is Dave, and I'm here at one of my favorite vacation spots here in my hometown of Phoenix, Arizona. Love it out here. Always feels like a vacation at home. And you know, that's kind of the way that I feel about food, too. I think that everything should be a vacation in a meal. And we're going to head into my kitchen here and show you how to make a beautiful Caribbean rice. Well, hey, Food Network, we're back here in my kitchen right now. We're getting all set to make the rice. Just getting some water going in the pot here. Let's go ahead and check out some of the ingredients in our Caribbean rice. Well, hey, folks, we are back here in my kitchen, and we're making the Caribbean rice, and this is going to be a beautiful thing. This is one of my favorite dishes. Very, very easy to make. All you have to do is make the rice in advance, add all the ingredients afterwards, and you're going to have yourself a vacation right there on your plate. And we're going to have some great jasmine rice today. It is very fragrant. You're going to love the way this smells. You're going to love the way it tastes even more. Well, folks, once the rice is done, we're simply going to add the other ingredients here. We've got a full red bell pepper. We've got about a half a cup of green onions, half a cup of fresh cilantro, and a half a cup of shredded coconut. We've got a half a teaspoon of hot curry. If you use regular curry, you can use a full teaspoon, but don't use a full teaspoon of hot curry. You're going you're gonna to rue the day you ever did that there. A full teaspoon of ginger powder, full teaspoon of cinnamon, a full can of chunked pineapple, and you're going to want to use the juice too, so make sure you save that juice. And my favorite ingredient, a little bit of jerk seasoning. This is the wet jerk seasoning. You can find this in any specialty shop. Uh, it is a beautiful blend of lots of different peppers and spices and will taste fantastic inside the rice. Ah, yes, the rice is looking really good right now, and it's all set for the ingredients that we already prepared in advance here. Now, it's very important that we add these in a certain order. We do not want to add the fruit too early because the fruit will get over-seasoned and it'll get mushy. So we want to add the seasonings first, and that would be the ginger, the cinnamon, the curry, and the jerk seasoning, the vegetables next, and then the fruit afterwards. Well, folks, there's the finished product right now. Look how colorful that is. That is a really beautiful dish. You can serve this to your, your family, your friends, and you're going to feel like you're in the Caribbean. I'm going to give it a shot right here, see how we taste. Oh, yeah. Mm. Perfect. Exactly the way that I wanted. I can taste the sweetness of the pineapple, the coconut, and it's a nice balance with all the other spices, the ginger, the curry. So if you like a little spicy, if you like a little sweet, it's a perfect dish for you. You know, folks, it's dishes like these that take me away from ordinary food into a paradise. And I got a vacation on my plate any day of the week. And I'd love to do the very same dishes for you on the Food Network. So if you'll honor me with my own show, it'd be my pleasure to share these dishes and many more with you, the viewers, and my friends of the Food Network. Thanks for watching.